In this video, we will have a look at the top five notable hydroelectric power projects that have been associated with disputes and controversies. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for captivating insights into renewable energy projects worldwide. Hydropower energy, also known as hydroelectric power, is electricity generated from the energy of moving water. It harnesses the power of flowing or falling water to drive turbines, which in turn spin generators to produce electricity. Hydropower is typically generated in large-scale installations such as dams, where the water's kinetic energy is converted into electrical energy. Hydropower is a significant global source of renewable electricity, but its expansion faces limitations due to various factors. Large dams carry social and environmental concerns, and suitable locations for hydropower are limited. While wind and solar power dominate discussions on low-carbon electricity, hydropower actually provides significantly more electricity worldwide than any other low-carbon energy source. It has experienced rapid growth in recent time. However, the construction of large hydroelectric dams is constrained by the need for a consistent water supply and ample land. Not all countries have these resources readily available, which hinders widespread hydropower development. Hydropower projects require long-term investments and are part of broader economic development strategies spanning several decades. The environmental and social impacts of hydropower, such as altered landscapes, reduced river flows, and displacement of communities, must also be considered. While hydropower remains a valuable low-carbon energy source, countries need to carefully weigh its benefits against the environmental and social costs of dam projects. The expansion of hydropower may be limited, and alternative renewable energy sources might be favored for sustainability. Here are five of long lists of hydropower projects that have been associated with disputes and controversies. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia. It is the largest hydroelectric dam in Africa and the seventh largest in the world. The JIRD is intended to generate 6,450 megawatts of electricity, which will make Ethiopia a major exporter of electricity in the region. The JIRD is a controversial project. Egypt and Sudan have expressed concerns that the dam will reduce the amount of water that flows down the Nile River to their countries. Ethiopia has argued that the dam is necessary for its own development, and that it will not significantly affect the water flow to Egypt and Sudan. Construction on the JIRD began in 2011. The dam is being built by the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation. The EPC is a state-owned company that is responsible for the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity in Ethiopia. The JIRD is a major project for Ethiopia. It is expected to contribute to the country's economic development and to help reduce poverty. The dam is also seen as a symbol of Ethiopia's growing power in the region. Egypt and Sudan have threatened to take Ethiopia to the International Court of Justice if the dam is not operated in a way that does not harm their water interests. Ethiopia has said that it is willing to negotiate with Egypt and Sudan, but that it will not compromise on the dam's construction or operation. The JIRD is a complex issue with no easy solutions. It is a test of the ability of Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan to cooperate on a major regional development project. The outcome of the dispute will have a significant impact on the future of the Nile River and the countries that depend on it. The Elisu Dam is a concrete face rock filled dam on the Tigris River in southeastern Turkey. It is one of the 22 dams of the Southeastern Anatolia Project, a multi purpose project that aims to provide water for irrigation, hydroelectric power generation, and flood control. The Elisu Dam is the largest dam in the Gap Project. It is 135 meters high and 1,820 meters wide. The dam's reservoir has a capacity of 10.4 billion cubic meters. The Elisu Dam has been controversial since its inception. Environmentalists have criticized the dam for its impact on the environment, particularly on the Mesopotamian marshes, UNESCO World Heritage Site. They also argue that the dam will displace thousands of people. The Elisu Dam has also been criticized by some Kurdish groups, who see it as a symbol of Turkish oppression. They argue that the dam will damage the cultural heritage of the region and will make it more difficult for Kurds to live in the area. The Elisu Dam was completed in 2018 and began generating electricity in 2019. However, the dam has not yet been filled to its full capacity due to concerns about the environmental impact. The Elisu Dam is a major project with significant environmental, social, and political implications. It is a controversial project but it is also a necessary one for Turkey's energy security. The Below Monte Dam is a hydroelectric dam complex on the Zingu River in the Brazilian state of Pera. It is the third largest hydroelectric dam in the world by installed capacity, after the Three Gorges Dam and the Itipu Dam. The Below Monte Dam was built to generate electricity and to control flooding. It has been controversial since its inception, with critics arguing that it will have a negative impact on the environment and on the people who live in the area. The Below Monte Dam has been criticized for its impact on the environment, the dam will flood a large area of rainforest, which will release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. It will also disrupt the river's natural flow, which will impact fish populations and other wildlife. 
The Below Monte Dam has also been criticized for its impact on the people who live in the area. The dam has displaced thousands of people, and it has also made it more difficult for people to access traditional fishing and farming areas. Despite the controversy, the Below Monte Dam has been completed and is now operational. The dam is expected to generate electricity for Brazil for many years to come. The Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Yangtze River in China. It is the world's largest dam by both volume and power generation. The dam was built between 1994 and 2006. It is 2,335 meters long and 185 meters high. The dam's reservoir has a capacity of 39.3 cubic kilometers. The Three Gorges Dam generates up to 22,500 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power 10 million homes. The dam also helps to control flooding and improve navigation on the Yangtze River. The Three Gorges Dam has been controversial since its inception. Environmentalists have criticized the dam for its impact on the environment, particularly on the migration patterns of fish. They also argue that the dam has displaced thousands of people. The Three Gorges Dam is a major project with significant environmental, social, and political implications. It is a controversial project, but it is also a necessary one for China's economic development. Zayaberi Dam, Laos Once upon a time, in the heart of northern Laos, a massive construction project was underway. The Zayaberi Dam, a run-of-river hydroelectric dam on the lower Mekong River, was being built to produce hydroelectric power. The dam was 820 meters long and 32.6 meters high with a rated hydraulic head of 18 meters. It was set to be the third largest project among those considered for development on the mainstem in the lower Mekong Basin. The dam was surrounded by controversy, with complaints from downstream riparians and environmentalists. The project was the first of 11 proposed dams planned for construction on the lower Mekong River, with nine more dams planned. The World Bank and the Asian Development Bank refused to back the project because of the risks of human rights abuses and concerns over severe environmental and social consequence. Despite the controversy, construction began in 2012, and the dam was scheduled to finish in 2019. The Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand agreed to purchase 95% of the power produced by the 1,285-megawatt dam. However, in 2012, Laos confirmed that work had been suspended on the controversial $3.5 billion hydropower dam on the Mekong River after requests from the Mekong River Commission. Finally, in October 2019, the Zayaberi Dam was switched on along the dried-out Mekong River. The dam was the third largest hydroelectric project in the lower Mekong Basin, and 95% of the power produced was to be purchased by the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand.